You can spend a lot of money on your modular synthesizer. And you can save some money if you build modules yourself. And sometimes on rare occasions you find a really nice sounding and cheap DIY module. And one of these we are building today in this video. It's the AI-004 OTA DIY filter. That's a low and high pass filter, similar to the legendary Korg MS-20. Great module doesn't need many parts. Front panel, two small PCBs, a little bit of hardware and less than 30 electronic components. That makes this a quick and easy build. The module, by the way, comes from AI Synthesis in Portland. I didn't order a kit, but just the front panel and PCB. What I've never tried before is soldering parts from the top. Of course it doesn't work on all the parts, but it saves some time and it looks quite good. Um, leave a comment, what do you think about this method? The build is easy and straightforward and you get a great online manual that shows details every single step for every part and even the parts list is in the same order as you build the project. There are some small things you have to be aware of. You saw me cut a trace on the PCB in the beginning and later you find a misprint on the PCB or you have to switch a pot value or add two resistors directly to a switch. Hey, it's still a DIY kit, but everything is described in the manual. The whole build took me less than two hours. It's great for beginners or a nice quick project if you are a pro. module works quite easy. Input, output jack, there's an input attenuator if you want less self oscillations. This is the uh, resonance, this is the filter frequency and the high pass and low pass switch. If you put the switch in the middle position you will mute the input signal and you will only hear the self oscillation. Sounds really harsh and aggressive and that's of course the heritage of the MS-20 filter. Now let's try it a little bit softer with a small sequence. Oh, 
okay, okay, I know everyone wants to know the cost. So this is how much I paid here in Germany. Um, I paid 25 euros for the front panel and PCB, 18 euros for hardware parts like jacks, knobs, uh, the pots. I paid 28 euros for all the electronics and that's 71 euros in total, including tax. Since I ordered some stuff in bulk, I paid more like 65 euros, or you can buy the complete kit for around about 85 euros. So let me know in the comments what you think and what kind of modules you would like to see. More videos in English are coming. Please subscribe, leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Cheers from Cologne. Bye bye.